Hi, I'm Charles Cresson, and this is my garden, Hedgley Spring. This is a garden that has several different facets to it. It's about 100 years old. It was created by my grandfather in the 20s in the style of arts and crafts and colonial revival inspired by estates nearby that don't exist any longer. But this is a miniature version. So it's a garden of the early 20th century. It's also a plant collection of great variety. So it's a miniature botanic garden. And you'll find different kinds of plants stuck into every corner. And if they don't work, we try something else, but over the years, it's been all filled up. And finally, it's a garden where the display of these plants is very important. So plant combinations, that and interest all seasons, all through the year, even in winter, I have things blooming here. So it's a very diverse garden, but above all, the plants have to be displayed in a way that they look like they belong there, or else I don't grow them. So we have a great variety of habitats. I'm standing in the main flower garden, which does date from the 1920s. And there are so many other areas though. There's a vegetable garden, there are shady areas with woodland plants, there is a pond. At the very back of the property, there's a meadow which stretches across the length of the back of the property. There's a stream with a waterfall. So we have a lot of habitat here and a great variety of different things. And it's all on less than two acres which nobody can believe once they've walked down all the paths that go behind each other and, and, and there are always little places to discover that you don't expect because everything's sort of tightly, tightly organized. 